Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and I'm excited to share my Christmas tag that I made for this week's design team project. Let me just show you real quick some of the dies that I used. I used the Tim Holtz Layered Angel Wings die. And Cut at Home has this for a really great price. I also used the Dynamit Scrolly Deer. This is a beautiful die. You may have seen me use this in a previous project. And I also use the Kaiser Craft Mannequin Die. And if you don't know about these Kaiser Craft dies, they come with a large magnet in the back, which will hold your die in place. So depending on how you store your dies, this is a great way they'll stay, they will not come off this sheet. So I just want to share that with you real quick. And here also is the Tim Holtz Layered Angel Wings die. So it's a big die. So let me set this aside. Oh, and I did also use the Tim Holtz um, Word Script dies in Wonderland. I don't have the packaging for this, but he has some beautiful script, holiday script words. So the links will be in the description box for all of these and also on Cut at Home's blog. Here's my tag I'd like to share with you, and I do have a start to finish on how I made this tag, so if you're interested in seeing that, then stay tuned. I will put that at the end of this video here. I cut this from the Cameo at seven and a half by three and three quarters, so it's a jumbo size tag. In the background, I use the Heidi Swat Vintage Sheet Collection paper. It's the music paper. And it's not a Christmas collection, but I think it's perfect for Christmas. I, I love um, that paper, that pattern. Here is the Tim Holtz Layered Angel Wings. I use the large and the medium size. It also has a smaller size that I did not use. And I also use some vintage sheet collection paper for the pattern on the wings. And I did edge this along with the tag in Vintage Photo Distress Ink. I added some stickles around the edges of the wings. I used the mannequin die and I used Pink Paisley's um, Snow Village for the pattern on the front of the mannequin. I used a rhinestone buckle along with a large pearl, one of Tim Holtz tickets, it says Wish. And along here I used some American Crafts glitter tape with some flat back pearls from Saw Crafters. I used a beautiful button that my friend Patty gave me. Thank you, Patty. I love it. And I used some Tim Holtz film strip right here and here. And then this large poinsettia I got from Michaels. I think I bought, I think there were, came with four of them, and I've used all four. I just love this. Along with, here's some leaves that I got last year from Michaels. And then I added some silk leaves here as well and some of these silver they're actually like sty styrofoam I tuck those in there and then I wanted to bring a little bit of the red up here so I added some large flat pearls and a little tag that says Merry Christmas I used some satin ribbon and cream so it matched the paper and I put a little um, jute twine on it And on the back, it's a gift card holder. I used a small pocket paper bag that I had in my stash. And here's that scrolly die from Cut It Home and also one of the script words from Tim Holtz. Absolutely love it. I put some Versamark ink on both the um, deer and the word. And I did two layers of the deer so his antlers stick up just a tiny bit and it gives it a little more dimension. And I did use some ultra thick embossing enamel in gold. I love using pops of gold, especially when it comes to Christmas time. I think it's just so elegant. I used some more of that American Crafts glitter tape in the back. I used some seam binding that Patty gave me as well, along with another Merry Christmas. And then these were in a, a bunch that I got from Michaels. So again, it holds a gift tag in the back. And if you've been following me, you saw I made a couple weeks ago a gift box, so it, it matches this pretty well. It can go as a set together. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This I absolutely love to make. To me, 
this is a gift in itself along with the gift card. I think it'll be fun to give. And if you want to see the start to finish on it, please stay tuned and that will be up next. Check out Cut at Home's blog. There will be all the product codes for the products that I use today and lots of inspiration on there. Thanks for watching.